What's going on everybody? Make sure to hit the subscribe, drop a comment and all that good stuff. All right, so I came across this and it's interesting. I'm not sure if it's real. I'm not sure if it's made up, but this is pretty interesting. All right, so apparently Ben Affleck was asked, you know, if uh, DC came to you now and said you want to direct something. Um, he actually said the following. Again, I'm not sure if this is real or somebody made this up, but it's interesting because well, what we got with Zack Snyder about the post that we just got like two days ago at the time of this recording with Dark Side, Dark Dark Side coming April 28, 29 or something like that. This is interesting, all right? Ben himself apparently is saying, I will not direct something for James Gunn. Absolutely not. I have nothing against James Gunn. Nice guy. Sure, he's going to do a great job. I just wouldn't want to go in the direct way. They're doing that. I'm not interested in that, all right? Let's look at a few things, all right? Facts are facts, all right? Henry Cavill, um, what's this, uh, Dwayne Johnson, Ben Affleck, uh, Zack Snyder, David Ayer have all something in common. They've all been quiet, they've all been respectful, and they've all been humble, all right? Three things that all three of them have been doing, all right? And it's interesting because you know how Hollywood is. They're just toxic and they're just corrupt in there. All right. Now, these five, you know, you have directors and actors. They're all, you know, voicing how they feel about it. Even The Rock came out a few days that they asked him, you know, about what the situation with Henry Cavill and, you know, everything. And they're just being neutral. That's good. They're not trying to start any drama and nothing of that. That's good. Now, this is the interesting part. If Ben Affleck actually said what he said right here, this is showing you that he's not even interested if James Gunn approaches him and tells him, hey, look, we want you to help us out with uh, Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Because like I said in past videos, if I was Ben Affleck, I would be insulted and I would be disrespected if James Gunn, the director that I was in previous movies. Right. I never got my own solo film. Right. And now you need me because you want me to direct and also produce. Remember, the, the, the producer is the one that puts money and then they collect royalties after the movie's done and stuff. So I would be like, you're not going to get my money and you're not going to get my ideas to help you with your shitty universe, you know? And then what Zack Snyder came out with a few days ago, put in the, the video, you know, it just took like about like, what, 15 or 30 seconds and the internet is going wild. And this is what we're trying to keep fighting for you know and shout out to all the fans of Zack Snyder and even if you're not a fan and, and you support the movement of restore the Snyderverse and release the air cut this is what we've been fighting for clearly with Shazam it's not doing well Blue Beetle it's not going to do good The Flash it's not going to do good and Aquaman is doing bad and it's not even there's no trailer out yet. So that shows you that without Zack Snyder, everything is sinking. Everything is going down fast. And now that James Gunn is going to do a Superman himself, that's not nothing that we want. We fans want what Zack Snyder had. Bring Henry Cavill. Bring The Rock. Connect everything. And that's it. Boom. We'll be happy. All right. A 30 second clip that Zack Snyder posted. Everybody is even big articles are talking about it because everybody's speculating. What is it related to? Could it be that he's making a comeback? Because remember, he's already done Rebel Moon 1 and 2. So he's pretty much done with what he's doing on his side projects. So when a lot of people say he won't come back, Zack Snyder, yes, he can. Because if he filmed two movies back to back, he's done. He's open. His schedule is like, hey, I'm good. Let's do Justice League 2 and 3. You get what I'm saying? So it can all pick up. And then now what's interesting is that when that was announced, the day after James Gunn goes and posts... That he's the one that's going to do Superman Legacy. So it's showing you that he's scared. He's afraid. He's not a quote unquote friend of Zack Snyder. He's a hypocrite. James Gunn is just using the name for fame. All right. Don't be fooled. Shazam 2 is just using Wonder Woman to bait us Snyder fans and say, hey, look, the Snyder fans are going to go. And if the movie does bad, they're going to try to blame it on us and say, hey, look, we told you. The Snyderverse is not what people want. They're going to try to blame all this on us. And remember, the Snyderverse has nothing to do with Shazam. And it never had nothing to do with Black Adam. So when they try to dump that and make us look bad, they're the ones that are liars. 
At this point, WB is just nothing but a joke and a circus. That's what it is. This is why we're fighting for Restore the Snyderverse. Do not give up. Keep on fighting for it. Because this shows the studio. It shows David Zaslav that, hey, look, the fans, the demand is still there. We don't need it to go to Netflix, honestly. I don't need it. As a fan, I don't want it to go to Netflix. I want it to stay within WB. Because if we can achieve the Snyder Cut, we too can achieve WB to restore the Snyderverse. And everything could be where it was. You want to bring in these side characters? Go for it. But just keep it under Zack Snyder. That's the whole vision that we want. James Gunn could keep his trash in another world. Keep that separate from us. And even at that... If we can if we all come together and keep on fighting for restore the Snyderverse, put pressure on WB and DC, eventually they're gonna have to rethink and say, hey, look, we're not winning with James Gunn. We're losing. So eventually they're gonna have to fire him. Fire James Gunn will have to come into play. You see what I'm saying? Things are happening behind the doors and behind the scenes. We just don't know it. There's still shakeups going around. Don't think because you see James Gunn, that's everything and it's solid. Numbers are what speaks. And they're not doing well under James Gunn. Ever since James Gunn took over, things have been going down even worse. As always, drop a comment. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, until next time.